day. Uh, I'm painting in the new forest. Uh, I've got some friends coming along as well. Uh, we're uh, just the other side of Burley and all around us here we've got Heather. Uh, Heather is looking quite good. There's a lot of bell heather up here which is probably the most striking of all the heathers colour. But just over there there's an old railway line disused and so the ground's been disturbed and been made up into that was about 1850 so, uh, a lot of time has gone by uh, there's quite a lot of uh, old Scots pine and they don't look too bad but uh, obviously they're, they're not indigenous to the forest as we know it but anyway some of these old ones do, do look really nice Right, well, we'll see how we get on. Well, I was going to cut that uh, first bit out because of the sound of the wind and uh, I keep talking away from the, from the camera, but I left it in because it does give you uh, an impression of what the day was like. It's quite windy um, and it's uh, an area here alongside an old railway line and uh, it's uh, a very sandy soils and uh, uh, it's quite good for the bell heather there are three types of heather in the new forest uh, but the bell heather is probably the, the most colorful the light is very good today um, it hasn't sort of clouded over um, so i think it'll be quite a good morning's painting quite nice to have a little bit of water there are ponds all over this area we haven't had any rain for quite a long time, so um, the pond is contracted quite a lot. Uh, the ground is uh, very uneven here, so you've got some little humps and tussocks of uh, little sort of hills and tiny little valleys. So you can see the heather there um, is starting to die, or the flowers starting to die on the heather, but there's still plenty there. Anyway, I'm going to set up here. I'm going to paint um, not into the light. Um, I've got the light behind me. Now this is my uh, sort of invention for holding a, a palette. Really, it's a it's not quite a pochard box. It's more of a a, a a palette that can be closed so that I can. Uh, take the uh, palette home without cleaning it and I can still use the paint again. Now that's my start. I haven't put the water in yet but uh, that'll come later. Well here's uh, Barry and Colin joining us. It's not too far to walk from the car park. That's uh, Barry's uh, beginning painting and there's his palette. Now I've progressed a bit more here, I've got some of the water in and uh, I think uh, I possibly put the uh, telegraph poles in later. I don't really like the poles, it's a great pity that they couldn't have been put underground. Uh, but maybe one day they will, but uh, I'll have to uh, sort of understate them a little bit. And it could give some distance, if I, but I won't put that in until everything's dried. I'm just uh, slightly blurring the heather so it uh, gives it a, a softer look. I'm not going to go too far uh, with this painting at this stage. I'm going to let it dry and uh, think about it because I think it's quite a nice little scene. Now there's Janet, she's doing watercolours. And Alan, her husband, he's doing watercolours as well. And he's definitely found some ponies that uh, I didn't see there, but uh, he must have seen them. No, Alan always puts ponies in. Here's Jenny, and uh, she's painting into the light. And she's taken a very bold approach to it. I think that could be a good painting. Now that's Collins, and I think that is probably, I'd say it was the best one of the day. I think he's caught the light lovely. 
And there's this wonderful box. But I really do think he's uh, captured it. Oh, Alan's made some more progress, and it's a very colourful watercolour. Well, I think we've had a good morning painting Heather, and uh, Denby's obviously very pleased. Um, he's uh, having a lovely swim and a paddle in a very muddy pond, and he's wondering why we don't join him. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video painting Heather. Goodbye for now.